<laughs> Hold your horses. Before I told you that part of the story, we need to return to my childhood. Jesus, not that early. Go back. Regardless of all the changes I was going through in my life, the most consistent and probably the only consistent part of it was my passion for making videos. Video congratulations for my family and friends, short film for competitions, movie parodies, YouTube videos with Minecraft, YouTube videos with film theories, with vlogs, with game development, with tutorials. God, it doesn't look that consistent to me anymore. Well, at least there is consistency in the tendency to switch in hats, huh? You get my point. I love films and editing. And that's why when I was deciding where to apply for the university, I chose the programming related degree. Wait, what? I bet you are confused, and so am I. Despite being a die-hard filmmaking and editing enthusiast, I was always confident that in the future I'm going to become a computer programmer. But have you ever experienced loving someone who is an amazing person, sincerely supported you, genuinely cared, and just is an interesting person with whom you actually could imagine living together with a good life? But God knows why, there just wasn't a spark comparable to the one you've got with that person a long time ago. That person who had close to if not zero compatibility with you, but even then the person you were ready to obliterate mountains for, the one you had an intense crush on, a naive, childish dream of a young boy, never supposed to become a reality. But according to whom? Who said so? Unfortunately for the boy, he never questioned that belief. Yeah, that's my relationship with filmmaking. But with the proper time management you can balance all of your passions and studying and work and social life. What a beautiful lie that was. Boo, you're just not passionate enough for them to dislike. Okay, don't get me wrong, I'm sure you absolutely can balance things in your life and perhaps you all are better with that than I am. But people do video editing with the same passion as I am full time. People do programming with the same passion as I am full time. People spend all their time studying at the university. And the common trait among all these people is not that they are just passionate, but they are focused on the goal. What chance do I have, me, who juggles, juggles all this passion throughout the day, against people who prioritized all their time and energy for this single specific passion? Well, I've learned that the hard way. A year ago I started a brand new YouTube channel related to game development, which in my mind was the perfect blend of programming with video editing, an easy solution to the problem, right? Well, the more time I've spent on making games, the less time I had for the video itself, and the more I spent on the video, the less I had for improving game dev skills. I've literally turned into Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man trying to stop the rapid train from approaching the deathly void. I sacrificed my sleep, often having a rest only for a couple of hours. I quitted social media. You, me, and this brick wall you built between us. I kept putting things on my plate of daily tasks to do, but even then my grades and performance, consistency and progress severely worsened. It was a time for me to look inward and start asking big questions. Who are you? And what do you want? At this point in my life, I almost completely pushed back the idea of dedicating myself to films. However, just thinking of the possibility of joining a competition like that dilated my pupils. I thought I can do that. No, I knew I must do that. Wait. Oh, in time we see. Uh, what are you doing here? Ah, uh, okay, I need to go. Wait. wait. Wait, but what about the work for the client? Uh, look, I'll have a couple of minutes later to finish it, so... Uh, give me a break. You will compete with professional filmmakers. What chance do you have? Well, I mean, even better. After all, everybody starts somewhere. A great opportunity to learn from great You are insane. You don't even have an equipment for that. Hey, if I can't film without an equipment, then I don't deserve to film at all. We can give the most refined and sophisticated sword to somebody, but still they won't stand a chance against a master swordsman because your equipment is just an extension of your own abilities. You wish Fast and Furious or something? Because it sounds way too pretentious even for you. I need to go. Wait. Wait. You are gonna lose. You can't possibly win this competition. You are gonna lose.
strong focus on what I was. My back hurt after an endless night of traveling on foot and none of the footage I shot was usable. Technically, extremely under or overexposed with no composition whatsoever, visually boring without any meaning or connection, purpose-wise with no purpose and without the ability to showcase the sound design which is actually the point of the whole competition, the night was quite resembling the void. The void that had inside of me, in other words, a failure. It was a difficult experience, but I've learned my lesson. Dreams are not always realistic and it's okay, because I'm still going to make a difference only through other media. The things that attach us to this world, we need to let these attachments go. Let them flow down the river, forgotten. No! Ah, you again? No. What? You, you did not do that. Relax, I've already let it go. It doesn't matter anymore. You're right. Idiot! Keep telling yourself that you can't as you always did. Or stop going full circles again and again and go for it. What do you want from me? Maybe you are a terrible film. Or an editor. Ha <laughs> ha, thanks for the support. I Maybe guess. you will be poor or jobless. Huh? Maybe you will never achieve success. Stop. Maybe people will hate you. Misunderstand. Like but yes. before you put the nail in your own no, coffin, no. answer me. Are you a filmmaker? I don't care what everybody says about you or your films or videos. And I don't care if the final video will be a garbage. And believe me, it will be. Because it doesn't matter. But what matters is that I am a filmmaker. You are a filmmaker. I am a filmmaker. You are a filmmaker. I am a filmmaker. Okay, stop. Don't be so dramatic. You still have one day left, right? Then what are you waiting for? Go! You're right. The things that attach to this world, we need to let these attachments go. Let them flow down the river, forgotten. That's why I've let my fears and insecurities go. When I submitted my video 14 minutes 36 seconds before the deadline, I wasn't aware that a week later I'm going to read the announcement of the winners for the competition and not find my name among them. But what I was aware of is that my spark burst into non-extinguishable flames, the flames that will never go away again. And no, I still am Atem Tima studying a programming related degree, cleverly juggling my daily tasks and making bad videos or, if you will, films. But I do make them and that's all that matters. My name is Adam Tima, I can finally see.